Hello and welcome back to Matthew's Tottenham blog and to another episode of Transfer Talk. I'm going to get straight into it today because there's two massive pieces of news uh, coming out of Sky at the moment. So the first one is we have agreed a deal with Juventus to sign Paolo Dybala. Now this is absolutely massive news and it's one that none of us were expecting to see. Uh, I myself, when this news first came out, I was obviously optimistic, but I wasn't expecting it to materialise uh, at all. But we have now agreed a deal with Juventus to sign Paolo Dybala for £64 million. And I mean, I don't have to tell you how big this is. Um, he's a player who's attracted t- attention from a lot of clubs around Europe. Of course, Manchester United were so keen to sign him. And that fell apart. And maybe now it was because Dybala preferred a move to Tottenham. Um, of course, his wages and personal terms still remain a big question. But I think it was very public that he wanted £350,000 a week from Manchester United. And because Tottenham have now gone ahead with this offer and agreed a deal with Juventus, it would perhaps suggest that Tottenham are willing to pay the wages that Dybala wants. Um, and I really look forward to seeing how this one will progress. Um, I mean, he's a, he's a world-class player and he had a disappointing season last year at Juventus, but it was because he was just overshadowed by the brilliance of Cristiano Ronaldo. And in his first few seasons, he, he had 20 goal a season uh, seasons with Juventus over the first three years when he, after he signed from Palermo. And £64 million for a player of his quality is absolutely sensational. I personally ca- cannot believe that this is happening. Uh, Juventus apparently wanted £80 million for him but it feels now like uh, it seems that it has been agreed that uh, £64 million is what it will take to pry him away from Juventus. Now, we did hear that Dybala wanted to stay at Juventus. Um, I'm just looking here for updates at the moment. Uh, we did hear that Dybala wanted to stay at Juventus after the, when the Manchester United uh, news came in. But uh, after talks with Sarri, it was unsure, it was unclear if he wanted to stay or if he was willing to leave. Because we know Sarri doesn't want him in the team for next season. He doesn't see him as a part of the starting team. And Dybala now, I'm sure as an Argentinian, will be keen to work with Mauricio Pochettino. And it seems that uh, it seems like this deal could really go ahead. Um, I'm sure with the other news I'm about to bring in a second, Celso Fernandez won't be happening this summer. Um, but it's it's completely worth it. I mean, Dybala is a world-class player and a massive, massive statement signing for the club. Now, the other bit of news is another world-class playmaker, Philip Coutinho, uh, may well be joining Tottenham this summer as well. So uh, Sky reported earlier in the day um, that Barcelona had offered Philip Coutinho on loan to Tottenham. Now there were various reports around Twitter uh, and some outlets around Europe earlier in the day that Coutinho to Arsenal was going to happen, but that quickly transitioned to Coutinho to Tottenham. And um, at about five o'clock I saw a report on ESPN that said ESPN sources claimed Coutinho was being offered to Manchester United and Tottenham, with Tottenham his most likely destination. Now, they went on to say that while a move to the Premier League was, the chances were low, it was definitely a possibility. Um, Sky sources then at about six o'clock confirmed that uh, Tottenham were interested in signing Coutinho on loan from Barcelona and that all parties were open to the deal and willing to make it happen. Now, Pochettino himself actually called Philip Coutinho, according to Sky, um, and tried to convince him to make the move to Tottenham. And uh, Pochettino and Coutinho both worked together at Espanyol back in... 2012, where Coutinho scored five goals in 16 appearances under Pochettino. Now, it is believed that Barcelona will be willing to pay Coutinho's wages of about £290,000 a week throughout this loan deal, provided Tottenham play, pay a fee of about £20 million. Now, I said this a lot about the, t- uh, the da- potential for Danny Ceballos joining us on loan. It wasn't good to get a player on loan and it would hinder the development of a player uh, at the club. Now, I, I do still kind of agree with that, but when it's a player of Coutinho's capabilities, of his his sheer brilliance I suppose he has struggled with Barcelona but he proved it with Liverpool that he can do it in the Premier League and he does have what it takes um, and this again could be a massive deal now Barcelona do would prefer to sell him on a permanent deal but they want about £80 million for him and uh, there aren't many teams who can afford that at the moment and now with this Dybala deal more than likely going ahead um, I actually can't believe I'm saying that but with that Dybala deal going ahead um, the money certainly isn't there for Tottenham to uh, make Coutinho's move permanent now, what does that mean for Christian Eriksen? Um, he's on his way out, I suppose, is that all is all that that could suggest. Um, Manchester United at the moment seem to be the team most likely to sign him for about £50 million. And while well, you never like to sell to your top six rivals, um, personally, I, I'm disgusted every time it happens. We've seen, of course, with Walker and a bit further back with Dimitar Berbatov. But with the position we said we're in at the moment, as I said a while ago, um, with Christian Eriksen it just doesn't seem like it would be clever to keep him for free keep him now and let him go for free next summer when we can get 50 million for him even though it is to Manchester United um, I feel like that could be the best thing for us at the moment and especially if it means getting in Paolo Dybala and Philip Coutinho um, that's absolutely sensational and there's no way we can look at that and think 
uh, anything other than what a transfer window. And it's been so frustrating over the last two months. You know, we had so many players. We had Giovanni Lo Celso for so long, with Bruno Fernandes. Diwala was in there for a bit and that faded away. We thought he was going to United. Uh, names like Danny van de Beek, David Neres were also thrown about. And it's been such a frustrating couple of months. But it looks like it's it's going to end uh, absolutely amazingly for us. Um, and it, it makes it all worth it. I mean, that two months of pain. Of course, we brought in Ndambele. He was a brilliant signing. But the two months of frustration and the pain that we heard last week, uh, Daniel Levy was in Miami. Um, it just felt like it was going to be another typical summer at Tottenham. But this, it's, oh, it's, it's absolutely incredible if we can get in Paolo Dybala and Philip Coutinho, even if we just get Dybala. I mean, he's a world-class player. You cannot underestimate the ability and the quality that he would bring to the team. And the fact now that this is this is a permanent deal for a player of Paolo Dybala's quality, it's it's not only a brilliant signing, but it's a statement signing. And this the next 48 hours or so could be absolutely gigantic for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. And we always wanted that superstar, that player with the winning mentality to come on, to come into the team and, and bring us on to that next level. And it looks like now we might have two. Um, I personally can't believe what I'm reading. Uh, it's it's ridiculous, but it's it's happening. Um, now, if you did like this video, uh, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, plus interactive live streams, hit the subscribe button below the video and uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload. Thanks for watching.